Hello YouTube, welcome back to Motorcycle Fixer channel. This evening I'm just going to do a short video. Um, just going to measure the ring gap or the ring end gap on our BMW engine. It's just going to be a quick video to measure the ring end gap before we reassemble our engine. What we're looking at is the piston ring gap, the wear dimension. So basically, if the wear dimension um, is more than one millimeter, which is a lot actually, uh, if the ring gap is bigger than one millimeter, then you need to buy new piston rings. Okay, that's what it is. For new rings in a cylinder, you've got a, a ring end gap. An installation ring end gap but this is the wear dimension okay um, and to, so I'm going to show you how to measure that wear dimension on our BMW F650 GS cylinder the other thing it's important to note is that you need to install the piston ring in the cylinder and measure 60 millimeters from the top edge of the cylinder okay um, so what they're saying is to measure 60 mil down from this end. Now I've measured the I've measured the piston. I've set this my vernier to 60 millimeters. Measure the piston, so it means it's about I don't know maybe five mil. The piston plus five mil is 60 millimeters. So. What we, gonna, what we want to do is one by one we're going to put our ring into the cylinder we're going to use our piston then to push the ring down so at this level and then to get our 60 mil uh, dimension from the top of the cylinder we're going to push the piston 5 mil past this top surface and then we pull our piston back out okay right now if you can see in there um, can you let me put my finger on it it's the wrong side so Okay. Just trying to get the light on it and get the camera on it. So in there, just there, there is a small gap between the rings. Which is very difficult to see. Um uh, now according to our specification from the manual it says that as long as it's smaller than one millimeter then we can reuse the rings now I haven't got a in this small set of feeler gauges I don't have a one millimeter um, but I have a 0 0.8 millimeter and as if this one doesn't go in, then obviously the one mil won't go in. So I'm just going to try and put this feeler gauge in between that gap on the piston. And I would say as you can see, but I'm not sure if you can. Anyway, that feeler gauge doesn't go through the gap. Okay. Um, I have to check this already but what I found is in my incomplete set of feeler gauges is that this 0.2 feeler gauge will go between the gap I was trying to show you how to do it this 0.2 gauge will go between the gap okay 
but however the next one I've got on this set is a 0.4 feeler gauge and this 0.4 feeler gauge doesn't go through the gap so our piston ring gap is between 0.2 and 0.4 I have got other feeler gauges that are in 03 increments and I could measure exactly what that ring gap is but I don't need to um, I just need to know that it's smaller than one millimeter and I know it's between 0.2 and 0.4 so these piston rings are good to install back into the back into the engine with the piston I've cleaned all the coke or oh, as much of the coke off the top of the piston. I will put that in the ultrasonic and get as much as I cannot more off. Um, I've got to measure the other rings now the same. Um, and then we can just rebuild the piston in the engine, put the cylinder on and then build the head. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. I know it's difficult to see um, with this camera setup anyway. But I think you get you can get the gist of, of what you're supposed to do. I hope it's helpful for you. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, it really helps my channel out a lot. And have a great rest of the day.